You know, it seems like these days, the people that are trying to manipulate us, they're not even bothering to hide it anymore. They just don't care. I mean, take a look at this headline. YouTube removes Steven Crowder's reporting on trans Nashville school shooter manifesto claiming violation of, quote, violent criminal organizations policy. And if you think that sounds weird, uh, it is. So do you see what I mean? Violent criminal organizations policy? Louder with Crowder? They're not even trying to hide the bias and the narrative control. So anyway, I'm sure you must know by now that pages were leaked from the manifesto of the Tennessee Covenant Catholic School shooter. And what was in those pages is not exactly what our leftist leaders and media have been telling us that we need to be worried about. Yeah, it's clear that this shooter got her ideas from critical race theory and just the general animus towards white people that is so prevalent in the media and in education these days. She called the kids crackers and talked about their white privilege. And if you want to read the manifesto, you can find it on X or formerly Twitter. But I'm not going to show it to you in this video. What I'm going to talk about in this video is how transparently manipulative YouTube is. And it's not just YouTube. It's all of big tech excepting X, formerly Twitter. And also, too, you can see it on Rumble. But let's take a look at this tweet from Steven Crowder. Investigative journalism is now considered a criminal organization according to YouTube. And here's the message that he got from YouTube. It says, we wanted to let you know our team reviewed your content and we think it violates our violent criminal organizations policy. We know that you may not have realized this was a violation of our policies, so we're not applying a strike to your channel. However, we have removed the following content from YouTube. And this is the video where he shows the leaked manifesto. Then it says, we realize this may be disappointing news, but it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all. If you think we've made a mistake, you can appeal this decision. So let's see, uh, making sure YouTube is a safe place for all. Well, making sure it's a safe place for the narratives that they wish to push. But let's go back to this violent criminal organization's policy. Seems odd, doesn't it? I mean, what can that possibly mean? Well, maybe support.google.com can help us out here. Violent extremism or criminal organizations policy. The safety of our creators, viewers, and partners is our highest priority. No, it's not. It's clearly not. Narrative is your highest priority. I mean, Biden already made his red speech and told everybody what they really need to be concerned about. I mean, they'd hate to embarrass them. We look to each of you to help us protect this unique and vibrant community. To protect, it's always in the guise of protecting, even though we all know that they're lying. They're not protecting the creators, they're protecting the narrative that they push. I mean, with friends like these, who needs totalitarian psychopaths? Let's see, it says, content intended to praise, promote, or aid violent extremists or criminal organizations is not allowed on YouTube. These organizations are not allowed to use YouTube for any purpose including recruitment. Well, I watched the Crowder episode, and as for this praise, promote, or aid violent extremists, I'm going to go so far as to say that I think that he was absolutely unambiguously against shooting people in schools. Let's see, it says, if you're posting content, don't post content on YouTube if it fits any of the descriptions noted below. Well, the first one is content produced by violent extremist criminal or terrorist organizations. So maybe that's it. This was produced by obviously a violent extremist. Maybe that's why. Although that doesn't really make sense either because within about five seconds, I was able to find a video about the Christchurch shooter in New Zealand and his manifesto, which they show in the video. And this post here is the first post of the shooter which announced that there was going to be increased gravitas in what he felt. He said it's time to make a real life effort before the police. And it actually feels like they're just lying because this doesn't fit the narrative of what an extremist is supposed to be. And allowing too many people to see something like this, like what happened in Tennessee, could damage their racist, far left, incoherent narrative. But, I mean, this is nothing that we didn't already know, isn't it? Now, Rumble didn't censor them. And here's what Rumble had to say on X about all this censorship. Here they're responding to Steven Crowder posting about Facebook is censoring the Nashville Manifesto. They said, Rumble will hold the line. 
And here, where Steven Crowder is posting about Google search results being messed with to try and hide it. Again, Rumble will hold the line. So, so yeah, I encourage everybody to go to Rumble. I have a channel there. Please follow me there because it's only a matter of time till I get nuked off of YouTube. And that way you'll still know where to see my videos. And they just deserve your support because they're actually, actually committed to free speech. But anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. Please subscribe, like, and share. Sharing really helps me out. I thank you for that. I will see you next time.